My name is Will Price. I'm the founder and general partner at Next Frontier Capital. Uh, we're a seed fund that focuses on the Northern Rockies with emphasis on Montana. And we have about 60 million under management across two funds and uh, 20 companies that we've invested in so far. There are about $120 billion a year invested in this country, but Montana was only getting somewhere between five to 10 million a year. Um, it was extremely underfunded, and the governor and other people in Innovate Montana have talked about this a long time, the access to equity capital to build these businesses. And one of the things I really worried about when think, starting the, the company was, well, if there's a lot of good return possibility here, economic theory says capital flows through return, so if there's no capital here, therefore there must be no return possibility. But we all know really good people here who are doing talented things, and so there, it wasn't that there was no return possibility, it was that there was some structural problem in the flow of capital that we hope to solve. And that problem really is that uh, while there are firms that are willing to invest nationally, they want to see some minimum threshold of financial performance before they'll make an investment. And that's somewhere between two and four million dollars in revenue. In order to get to two to four million dollars in revenue, you, need, you, can't, you can't do it on a shoestring, you can't do it uh, on credit cards. You need to raise probably anywhere from one to three million dollars. And w without that capital available here in Montana, that one to three million, all those ideas are going to be stillborn or people are going to move to places where there is more available capital, like Boulder, like Portland, like Seattle. So the next frontier capital opportunity was really to fill that void to allow Montana businesses that weren't yet ready for national venture capital firms to evaluate them to be able to take money from us and over the 18 to 24 months of working with them to make them uh, get to the point where that national capital is very interested. So we've seen some uh, really quality firms uh, invest in Montana and that thesis of companies needing some local capital to get them to that point where they can attract the national capital has borne itself out. So my name is Eric Hathaway. Uh, I work for Zood Enterprises here in Montana. Competing out of Montana can be, it has its challenges and its benefits. Uh, people don't move here to work. People move here for a lifestyle. So that can create a real challenge, and it does for many of the companies across the state, in finding employees that we can compete in both nationally and internationally with. And so over the last four or five years, I think we've seen a real move towards people coming here and actually starting up new businesses, the tech business or landscape here has developed immensely and so we've been able to attract pretty solid talent but then competing against these huge firms as I mentioned earlier billion dollar companies it has its own challenges because when one of our clients turns around and says oh where are you based and we say Bozeman Montana and we're competing against companies that are out of Silicon Valley or Denver Colorado or New York it can be a little bit of a challenge. And so a lot of times we have to, in a way, part of our selling, part of our benefit is really looking at the culture that we have. And that culture expands into how we treat our clients and the kind of service that we provide. And so that's been one thing we have weighed heavily on is who we are as a company. Welcome to PFL in Livingston, Montana. I'm Andrew Field, founder of the company and I still run it today along with about 400 of my best friends. We started as a local print shop in 1996. In 1999, we launched America's first e-commerce site for commercial printing, and then subsequently we began to deliver technology solutions to our customers, and we launched a whole new category called tactile marketing automation, and we're recognized nationwide as the leader in that today. So what we've done is been fortunate enough to evolve and always look at what's next and look at the next thing and if I were to give a, another piece of advice to a budding young entrepreneur, it would be find a problem. Find a problem that you can solve. If you're in a city that doesn't have a great Thai restaurant, maybe that's a problem that you can solve. And whatever the problem is, that's what you wanna go after. Among the problems we solve for our customers is there's so much digital clutter in the world and people getting bombarded by emails. And we let people break through that digital clutter with high impact touches delivered via FedEx or USPS, and they get noticed and drive results. 